good morning. I'm here with Ricardo Procacci at Avio Aero at the Paris Air Show 2019. Uh, Ricardo, thank you for having us here. First question really is, um, you've said Avio Aero is transforming as part of GE Aviation. Um, can you describe what's involved in this sort of lean manufacturing revolution and what kind of benefits you're seeing? Thank you for, for the questions, very important. You know, the obvious contribution of uh, lean manufacturing is that when you get inside our shops, now you see all this visual management, all this one piece flow um, arrangement for, for our machinery. But I'm telling you, the biggest contribution is not that. The biggest contribution is the fact that through the lean manufacturing technology, our people get involved. Our people understand that through uh, their uh, action workout and their ideas can be implemented, can have an impact in fixing their own problems or in making the company better. And that uh, has completely transformed the attitude of our 5,000 employees from people that were waiting for someone to tell them what to do uh, in 5,000 people that now are contributing and writing their own future. That's the biggest contribution of uh, lean manufacturing to oh, us. Right, right. So, of the three major focus areas, okay, so uh, gearboxes, low pressure, uh, turbines, and combustion systems, um, is the one of those areas that's primed for bigger growth? Um, I wouldn't say so. I think we are, we are enjoying massive growth on all three areas. Our uh, revenues are projected to grow 50% in the next uh, five years and uh, all three uh, key products will be directly involved uh, in all the major programs uh, uh, that we have, whether it is GNX, LEAP, uh, or even on our Pride & Whitney uh, supported program. So, no, I would say that no one has the luxury to rest here. All equal. <laughs> All equal, yeah. And Avio Aero built uh, the world's first fully integrated metal additive manufacturing uh, factory and is a recognized leader in that field now. So, um, how critical is that additive manufacturing to Avio Aero and, and where do you go from here? Well, <clears throat> First of all, you know that stage five and six have been already flying using our 3D printed uh, blades in, uh, that we print, we print in camera. And, uh, and what we see is that uh, all the learning that we are accumulating on that technology is already enabling us to do things that uh, our competition cannot do. I, I, I dare anyone to, to be able to print these two stage of blades uh, the, way, the way we do. And, and so it, uh, our learning today, today is defining our, uh, our future. And no, we, you know, we, um, we are at this point ramping up production for blades five and six in, uh, in Camry, but uh, we are not stopping there. We just opened up another manu uh, added manufacturing facility in, um, in Brindisi where we will print parts for the GE Catalyst. And this will be more on the laser printing technology. So we'll be leading the pack also from there. Fantastic. So despite your GE ownership, GE Avio retains a very healthy portfolio of non-GE um, work, including parts for Pratt & Whitney, Pratt & Whitney Canada, um, as well as European military um, engine consortia. So uh, do you see the possibility of expanding that non-GE side of Avio era? You know, it always needs to be two to tango. So one thing is my will that is there. You know, we need to see of our customers' will to keep partnering with us. But uh, what I know is that uh, uh, if I want uh, them to trust my partnership, I get to deliver to them. And that's what it, my day in and day out focus. I'm uh, totally committed to deliver good quality products uh, on, on cost and on time 
to all of our uh, all our customers. So far, things have been uh, been working pretty well, and I think there is also a good appreciation of the fact that uh, all the investments that we are making, thanks also to the to the GE ownership in the company, are having a direct benefit to the quality and of the service and the products that we are delivering to them. So we hope for good. And environmental concerns uh, are growing, uh, aerospace is responding, of course. Um, how is Avio Aero going to meet its ambition to be a larger player in the European uh, Clean Sky initiative? So Clean Sky 2 has been already a transformation initiative for, uh, for G Avio. Some of the most important technologies that we are implementing today have been uh, and are being developed uh, through the Clean Sky 2. In Clean Sky 3, we really hope to have more of a, of a uh, participation at the systems level. So uh, all the programs that we'll be uh, proposing and we'll, we are currently looking for partnerships at this point will be focused on improving our uh, efficiency and the efficiency of the, of the engines, both when it comes to uh, new architectures, so the mechanical part of the design that will enable right. better efficiency through new architecture, uh, up to the use of hybrid technologies where you know, our current understanding of at system level will play a critical, uh, a critical role. That's wonderful. Ricardo, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you.